Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Vijay and I am a Microsoft MVP. And in this video, we will discuss how we can add multiple users into uh, our Office 365 tenant. In my previous videos, I have explained how we can sign up for an Office 365 Enterprise E5 trial. And also we saw in the in uh, one of our last video also we saw how we can create uh, a user in Office 365. Here we will see how we can add multiple users. Imagine you have a organization where you required uh, to add or create users for your uh, Office 365 tenant and this time uh, you might not go and add individual users. Rather you will uh, definitely look out for option where you can add multiple users at one time. Now let's get started and I will show you how we can do this. So I'll open my browser. Okay, before proceeding, so I have some SharePoint training courses are there. Um, I will put the URL in the description box of this particular video. And you can see here, uh, I have a lot of video training uh, modules are available on this. And if you can go for the entire course bundle, it is 295 USD as of now. And uh, I will put a URL with some coupon code which you can get access in 249 USD. And this is lifetime access and uh, regularly you will get updates on on this uh, videos as well. So each uh, there are training course module for the developers and also there is a training course uh, for the site owners as well. So you can have a look, uh, look at it. Now let me open my Office 365 tenant. So I will open admin.microsoft.com and if you have not not logged in then it will ask you to log in so it will basically ask you to enter your credentials so your office 365 credentials you can put it and this scenario you can see here it is not asking me because i have already logged in with uh, the user over here and now you click on user section here you can see here on this remember this is the microsoft 365 admin center because when we are talking about the users these are not specific to sharepoint these are specific to our office 365 or the microsoft 365 so you can go to users and active users so if you'll see here last video we saw how we can create individual users and here you can see there's an option which is saying add multiple users click on that and then if you'll see here what it is saying here is you can create and upload a csv file where you can put your user details or your user information and then you can actually upload it here and then click on verify so that it will verify whether the format is correct or not now how you will know the format so if you will see here there's two sample things that uh, has been provided by Microsoft one thing is download a CSV file with the headers option only and then another one is where you will see the user information also some sample user over here now I will download the second option so if you will see here now I will save this so let me go to the desktop I will uh, save it here so once I save this, let me just open and show you what exactly this Excel file or this CSV file contains. So I'll go over here. I will, this is the sample file which we downloaded here. And uh, if you'll see here, now this is the format that you need to enter. For example, the first row you can see here, username, first name, last name, display name the job title department uh, then office number for whatever the phone number address city all these things are there so the first parameter is important here which is saying the username uh, with your uh, tenant id so in this scenario if you'll see we have the uh, tenant id is uh, this one which is uh, let me just open it one so the tenant id is uh, spskytraining.onmicrosoft.com so i'll just copy this and i'll go back to the excel we will just change uh, the domain here so if you'll see here it is chris then ben so i will just put uh, uh, the usernames here uh, sorry the usernames will be same in in instead of uh, control so we will put our tenant name so in, that's the only thing that i have modified here 
and uh, we didn't put uh, we didn't modify anything but you can uh, uh, modify all these things whatever the information you are uh, thinking of and the other file that what is microsoft was talking about is the download a csv file with the headers only so in that scenario you will be having just the headers so you have to uh, follow the headers you, you should not change those things only thing is you should enter the value correctly now i will close this file so you can see here the file is closed now i'll open this and i'll go to browse so you can see here i'll browse this particular file so you can see and i'll click on verify so you can see here it is saying your file looks good if it is if it will say that uh, this is not good then uh, make sure that you you change it and uh, um, you you should have uh, this should so that the, uh, this message should come it is very important then click on next so in the next what it is saying is if you want to uh, the status should be sign in allowed we want people to uh, assign the sign uh, sorry we, we want people to sign in to the uh, office 365 tenant and uh, then if you'll see here next it is asking for the product license if you'll see here the entire section is for product license so i'll click on that and you can see here the location you can put and uh, the license so if you'll see here i said uh, office 365 e5 license anyway i have 25 licenses are there you can see here and uh, out of 25 20 uh, sorry two, three are already used so we have 22 that means uh, there are five uh, we can accommodate easily so you can see here i uh, select this and uh, then you can see here if you scroll down you can see um, uh, if you want to actually create without a product license we don't need that uh, we obviously want user to have a license in this particular scenario but your case you can decide if you don't require that then click on next so if you'll see here now it will actually keep on adding the user so it will take some time and then it will add the users to our office 365 so you can see here five users has been created you can download the results and uh, then if you can see here it is saying the uh, email the results files so the uh, in this scenario if you will uh, uh, if you want to send these files by email then the password will be in the plain text so you will see in the uh, plain text let me download this result so i'll just click on save uh, i'll save it here now let's open what it is showing here i'll double click on that so if you'll see here now it is showing me the username the display name the username and the password so this is the password that it is uh, for this particular user so you can actually uh, as a site owner or a, uh, or a, as a office 365 administrator you can actually go and you can share the password with them so that uh, they can log in with this user now i will say send and close so once you do send and close now if i will refresh this once let me go back to the active users now you can see this all users has been created and i got the email also uh, with uh, the information as well as if you'll see all this user having licenses uh, uh, assigned which is the office 365 uh, uh, e5 license now uh, uh, similarly if you want to export all the users you can see here there's a button known as export users um, but uh, this is how we can add multiple users at a time into our office 365 tenant later if you want to uh, change the licensing of any of the user you can come and you can change it and uh, uh, so this is how we can add the users um, if you really like our videos then kindly subscribe to our youtube channel so you will get a lot of free videos on microsoft technologies not only sharepoint or office 365 you can see on power power apps power bi most of the you know all office 365 concepts we are covering are covering as well as well and this is the uh, twitter handle so you can check out our twitter handles our facebook page so these things you can have a look at and uh, so that you will get updates uh, every time and uh, uh, another thing is uh, that if you want us to make some video on any particular topic you can um, you can actually uh, comment uh, on on this video or any of the videos and we will surely go through those videos and I, uh, if possible we will create the videos for uh, for you 
so in the next video we are going to see how we can uh, uh, delete a user or how we can disable a particular user there will be scenarios where you want to need those things as well as we we will see how we can reset the password uh, so this office 365 uh, particularly related to e users videos we will see in couple of uh, videos uh, in the next couple of videos in our channel